Hello everyone, so far on Flippy here, and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 3. So yeah, let's begin with Kenji missions uh, this time. And there's a reason I'm gonna do Kenji's missions first, than the Donut Love missions. Because uh, if you do a specific mission for Donut Love, all the remaining Kenji missions will disappear. So, yeah. I Kenji missions are actually 100% optional, so you do not have to do those to complete the story, but... I'm gonna do them because I want to do all the missions. So uh, let's go. My sister speaks highly of you, though I'm yet to be convinced that a guy Jin can offer anything but disappointment. Perhaps you could help deal with the situation that has me at a disadvantage. Of course, failure has its own disgrace. A Yakuza Kanbu is in custody awaiting transfer for trial. He is a valued member of the family. Break him out of custody and get him to the dojo at Bedford Point. So, we need to break someone out, pre out of prison. So, we need to get a cop car, break it with a bomb, and then uh, blow a hole in the prison wall. So, uh, yeah. Cop cars should be fairly easy to uh, find. And if you don't really find one, you can always go to the police station and get a cop car that way. Should be it should be nearby the pay spray anyway. It's a little bit down south of Staunton. I'm going the I'm going the wrong way, I think. Don't wait. I'm already at the south side of Staunton. Yeah, I'm, I'm, am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the uh, the police station should be around this side somewhere. It's close to the Callahan Bridge. Uh, yeah, here it is. And there's always a there's always a cop car over here you can take. Just take this one over here if you can find one. Rake it with a bomb and then go back over here because you need to get someone out of prison, or out of jail. So yeah, let's go. Want to be. Up here because I want not to go under the Callahan Bridge, otherwise, I'm going the wrong way. Is that over here? And the pay and spray is around this corner over here. Turn over here, and then make a left turn over here. And then there, and the pay and the pay and spray, the, the bomb, uh, the eight ball bomb is like right over here. No. Basically right next to the pain spray and Staunton. Like here's a, here's a pain spray and there's a bomb uh, thing. So let's go. There we go. And now let's go back to the police station. And also we need the cop car to access the police station from behind. Otherwise there's a gate there's, there's a gate there that only opens uh, if you have a cop car. So yeah, and stop shooting me, thank you. Stop shooting me. <laughs> Getting so much shot up in this game because I pissed off a I pissed off a lot of the gang already. That's a uh, story, uh, yada yada things. Ooh. Well, luckily you can damage the car all you want. There's no pen penalty in that at least. Well, the car's gonna be destroyed anyway in uh, in just a few in just a minute. So let's head back over here. This gate will open up. I park the car next to this wall. Arm the bomb. Get the hell out of here. And I like to use this enforcer to get away because this thing, this car is pretty sturdy. Okay, the car is, the guy is right over here. Get in. Okay, the cop car is already spawning in, so make your way down here. This gate will open up. And yeah, and getting getting the, getting down here there is a bribe star you can take, which get with which get rid of the helicopter at least. And I need to get rid of the remaining uh, cops. So just I can either I can either go to the pain spray or get another bribe star. I think I'm gonna go for another bribe star. The shit. I think I know where uh, one should be. 
Um, I think this is... This should be a Donald's uh, Love building and I think there's a pipe star nearby. Then the last uh, star will go, will go away on his own. Let's see. I don't know all the pipe stars locations. Might be one over here. No. No. Like they can sometimes be a, they can sometimes be well hidden though. But uh, yeah, the enforcer is a pretty sturdy car, so it can take uh, quite a punishment. Like I know a few of them in Portland, but I'm not going to Portland for this mission. This would be a bit pointless. Otherwise, gonna, otherwise, might just go to the paint spray and if we can find a pipe pipe star. This place should be relatively safe uh, with golf cars spawning anyway, so. But unfortunately, the enforcer cannot go into the bay in space, so I need to get this car over here. Get the guy in. And go do pain spray. And the cop will immediately, immediately, immediately lose interest. Oh, are you kidding? Are you kidding me? What a troll. This guy is a troll. This car is a troll. Oh well, doesn't matter. We have one star, so that one's gonna gonna go away on its own. Just need to drive a bit. Just be careful that you don't run over any more cops. No matter, let's just uh, head to Kenji's uh, place. Well, the star will go away. At least the game doesn't spawn uh, more cops uh, with one star. It does. Uh, it will not happen until you have two stars or more. Alright, let's wait for the star to disappear, should be in a bit. And here's the casino. Alright, no, it, no, it, no, I need to get to a dojo, that's not that kind she plays a lot. It's a little bit of a mistake, but oh well, she can get there quite easily. But yeah, a pretty straightforward mission. Get the guy out, get rid of the cops. That's basically it, that is basically what this mission is. And Kenji missions, not necessarily, they are not necessarily difficult, but they are, like, can be time consuming. I think uh, I know what Kenji next mission uh, might be. I think his next mission involves uh, stealing uh, free cars and put them into a garage. Now, boss, you're slow. I want to, let's take this, I believe this is the Infernus. Alright. Yes. The Cheetah and the Infernus look, ju look just very similar to each other. So I always mix those two cars up. Like, yeah, that's another Infernus. Yeah, it looks so similar. Anyway, next mission. It is impossible to overestimate the importance of etiquette in this line of work. To my eternal shame, a man once did me a favor, and I have never had the opportunity to repay his kindness. The man's weakness is mother cards, and he has requested that we acquire him certain models for his collection. Needless to say, we must give him the cards as a gift to repay the debt that I owe him. You must obtain the cards on this list and deliver them to a garage behind the car park in Newport. My honor demands it. Sure thing. So yeah, we need to deliver three cars across uh, Staunton and deliver them to the garage. I'm, I think this one is the closest uh, by. It's at the car park. Yeah, where I had a mission where the yard is earlier with those exploding uh, madmans. It's the same area that that I had a difficult mission. It's banged up, madman. But anyway, we don't have to worry about them. So let's just get in here. Uh, you do not want to damage the cars because otherwise you need to go to pay and spray. 
But uh, luckily the pay and spray is right next to the garage uh, you are supposed to take these cars So it's not really that punishing if you damage them But yeah, it would be better if you do not damage them Because it's it's a little bit of a time loss if you do so But the, the, but they are pretty fast cars so yeah, you sh And pretty small cars so you should be able to wiggle yourself through traffic just fine Be careful. Alright. And luckily, luckily gang members shooting the car does not count as damage for the mission at least. That would be a good thing. Otherwise this mission, otherwise getting the car uh, is there without uh, using base spray would probably be impossible. Hey, my enforcer is still there. Nice. Alright, it's this door so get the car in here but you have more you don't really have to worry about the time limit you have plenty of time you have six you have like six minutes and 30 seconds and the and, uh, and the cars and the cars you're delivering are all sports car and they are relatively nearby too so let's go to the next let's go to the one up north that one is a little bit further away it's I think it's all the way at the hospital and it's just a straight drive uh, to it, so it's a fairly easy route. Uh, unfortunately, I got a policeman after me, but yeah, that was because of the car alarm. But one star isn't really that, that bad to deal with. Right, get the car right here. Yeah, the Colombians are shooting at me. It's a bit of a bummer. Oh uh, yeah, that's a cheater. Like, this thing looks so similar to the Infernus. Like, uh, you can sometimes re really not really tell them apart. Careful, careful. Hey, here we go. And just uh, go back over here from the way I from the way I came. This is mainly just a straight road. But any, but the, yeah, this mission is uh, pretty easy in general. It's just uh, you driving here and there, and deliver the car to and deliver to the garage. Hey, look, I got, I got the second car in already, and. Oh, that one is need to be a bit further in. Got the second car in already, and the mission, and I still have like three minutes left, so it's plenty of time. All right, next car. Oh my, uh, my enforcer uh, despawned. Bummer. Oh well. It's not really that fast. It's not really fast car, so it's probably not really that useful to keep around, I guess. But yeah. But you do you do get a free armor from it if you get in it, but was pointless since I had armor anyway. Alright, the next car is uh, right up here. On this uh, park, on this car park. So jump over here. And get, and the car is standing uh, right over there. Uh, this is an Infernus. So it's like a Stinger, an Infernus and uh, a Cheetah. Alright, let's make our way back to the garage and then the mission is a uh, GG. Alright, make a turn over here. Turn left over here. Careful, don't bump into anything. There we go, did it without even using the paint spray. That's good. That was a good, uh, that was a good mission. And ironically, this, uh, this mission is named after the game Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go to the next um, Kenji mission. So let's uh, go over there. And hopefully I'm not getting a cop on me because of this uh, car alarm. Oh, wait, that's the wrong way. That's the Kusa. That's the Asuka's uh, place. And let's make a turn over here. Stop shooting me! Stop shooting me! Run away! It's fine a bit weird that the cops that don't even react to gang members shooting at you, but they do react uh, to you if you shoot the gang members. Doesn't really make much sense, but oh well, it's a video game. Get out of the way! Coming through! There we go. 
Right, almost uh, back to Kanji's. Turn left. Ooh, that's a nice drift. And let's see what this next mission is about. When trouble looms, the fool turns his back, while the wise man faces it down. The Colombian cartel have ignored repeated requests to leave our interests in liberty well alone. Now they are negotiating terms with the Jamaicans in order to humiliate us further. They are finalizing a deal across town. Take one of my men, steal a yardy car, and go pay your respects to the Colombians. Our honor demands that you leave no one alive! So yeah, this mission, I need to steal a yardy car. And uh, they can sometimes be a little bit of a pain uh, to find, so, but yeah. But they should be driving on this road eventually, you should be seeing one. Like, yeah, GTA 3 has several of these missions where you need a specific uh, car. Is that a yard? No, it's not a Yardica. Yardica looks like more reddish. And that's like a white uh, rooftop. Uh, yeah. Alright, this is the Colombian territory. I think the yard is also near the stadium. So let's see, where the hell is a yardy car? I don't know if there is a fixed uh, spot for a yardy car, but. Yeah, you should be fighting one relatively easy. No. 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 No, okay, that... Yeah, sometimes the stallion can look a bit similar, like a yardy car, but it's not... It's kind of like a lowrider uh, type of uh, car that I'm looking for. That one? No, that's that's not one. No, they are like uh, this dark uh, reddish uh, color. So yeah, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna speed it up until I find one. Ah, found one. Here's a yardy car. There you go. So now let's pick up this guy. Took me a little while to find one, please, but I, I have one. I mean, I mean, you have some cars that look. Uh, are you kidding me? Fucking yeah. Uh, <laughs> no! Woo! Don't flip. Don't flip. Good. But yeah, you have, uh, some other cars look quite a bit similar to the Yardy car. So yeah, but I have one. And here's the guy I'm supposed to pick up and then I need to go drive all the way to the hospital. Let's wait for this guy to get in. There you go. And let's go towards the hospital. And there's gonna be some uh, Colombians uh, over there. Careful. Alright, easy. Get down here. Okay, let's get rid of them. And that was easy. The M16 is just like a really overpowered bastard weapon. So yeah, now let's head back to Genji's place and turn in the mission. I did lost some armor, unfortunately, but yeah, not too bad. So yeah. <laughs> 
Not really a difficult mission, but finding a Yardica can be a little bit of a bitch. Because they just look like a normal, uh, they don't even look like a gang car really, they look like a regular, look like a regular car. Like, the one easy way to spot this is a Yardica is to look into the interior. That's a way to easily spot an Yardica, but if you don't see that, it looks just like a normal regular car. But yeah. I think uh, Kenji's next mission involves you picking up some protection money packages, I believe. Because he is working for the Yakuza, for the Yakuza, Yakuza Mafia, which is a Japanese Mafia. So, yeah. Next mission, let's go. Let's see what this one is about. To be truly strong, it is important that you never show weakness. The businesses fortunate enough to have our protection settle their accounts today. Go and collect the money immediately, so we can enter it into the casino accounts. Yep, this is the mission I thought it would be. You need to collect some uh, protection money from various stores. It's a thing that the mafia used to, to do is to is to yeah like uh, offer like protection to a store, which is basically some kind of a scam. But yeah, if you do not agree with it, then you pretty much could get your store smashed up, or even worse. But yeah. I don't really know that much about how Mafia works, but yeah, that's one of the things they used to do a lot more. Not really much today, I believe, but yeah. Mafia can be Mafia can be really awful uh, if you have problems with them. Right, this guy is gonna be shooting at you a little bit. And there's a policeman after me. And can you go away? Alright, next uh, package. It's uh, bar it's uh, next to the shoreside lift bridge, which is still up on which is still not operational, but it will be operational soon. But yeah, let's go over here. There are, there are three packages you need to collect, and uh, here's the last one. you and I wouldn't pay you if I could some young gang just tracked up the place they took everything you guys are useless what kind of Yakuza are you anyway so yeah unfortunately this guy got robbed and uh, some gang by some gang by some punk ass gang members and yeah we need to go to uh, Portland and uh, go to Diablo territory to collect the money there because they took the money from the store. I mean, yeah, the mafia will offer, the mafia did offer you protection if you paid them protection money, but most of the time uh, they don't really show up because it's more of a scam than anything else, I believe. But yeah, let's go. So there's gonna be some Diablos I need to deal with. And um, yeah, and I know this. Ne I know his next mission is also his last mission. And uh, the next mission, you want to have a faster car of it because you need to kill drug dealers in a, within within a certain amount of time. Like there's not a visible timer on the screen, but there's gonna be a certain amount of uh, yardy spawning that you need to kill. But you're gonna see that in the next mission. That uh, bobcat was parked very weirdly. Right. Triad's not really that uh, not really that big big of a deal to deal with because they have pistols and bats. Diablos are not really an issue either, so yeah. For me you can just do a drive by. Uh, yeah, and you will probably will get attacked. Like there's a guy over here. Ouch. Alright, now let's head back uh, to uh, Kenji's place.
Luckily the Yakuza staying as a pretty decent car. Pretty fast. And handles very well. So let's head back to uh, Staunton Dashway through the tunnel. Make a turn over here. <laughs> Sometimes NPC still thinks they can drive uh, through the barrier. <laughs> I'm guessing that's probably the way uh, the pathing is coded or whatever. Not proper. But yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that is the downside of taking the tunnel because it gets uh, it gets pretty crowded. But you get uh, sometimes you get ground a bit faster between islands if you use the tunnel then instead of the bridges. Like a short side lift bridge uh, can be awful if you have bad RNG when you cross it, because the lift is going up and down uh, within a fixed uh, interval. All right, let's head over here. Stop shooting me. Okay. Oh, it's getting foggy. Don't really see a lot. Okay. Turn left over here and use right. You will shit. You right. You gonna drive right at the casino. And GG. Alright. Alright, for this mission, like I said, I want to have a faster car. But luckily, there's a Banshee over here, which is one of the best cars in the game. So, yeah. And this is gonna be Kenji's last mission. You. How fitting you should choose this moment to sow your worthless faith. It would appear your attempts to dissuade the Jamaicans from becoming bedfellows with the cartel were wholly inadequate. Yardy pushes line Liberty Street selling packets of spank like they were selling hot dogs. Those cartel pigs are laughing at us, at me. I will give you one last chance to prove my sister's faith in you to be well-founded. Run these scumbags into the ground and wash your shame in rivers of our enemy's blood. Jeez, he's pissed. So, yeah, we need to kill at least the eight uh, Yardies that are dealing uh, this bank, which is a fictional drug in this game. And yeah, the, uh, yeah, there isn't, there is actually a timer, but it's not shown. Like, there's gonna be uh, Yardi spawning on the map across the uh, Staunton. And all you have to do is just uh, run them over or kill them. And they will eventually just disappear again if you are sl too slow. So yeah, you need to get at least eight of them. There's another guy o over here. Not necessarily a difficult mission, but a little bit of an annoying mission. There's one under the bridge over here. Like I'm guessing they just walk a specific uh, path. That's already three kills. Another one right around the corner over here. Well, Colombians are shooting at me. Ah, uh, fucking cop car. Fuck, fuck off. Right, there's a guy over here. Okay, that's five. And each time, and each time you get a kill above eight, you get a little bonus for it too. So yeah. Okay, got five kills. Need to get three more. Okay, there's another guy over here. Yeah, they they do despawn eventually. But if you are really f if you have a fast car, this mission isn't really too bad. That's the, fa the faster you move them, the faster you kill them, the easier it gets. 
Alright, one more uh, guy need to kill at least, and then the mission is already be completed unless I die somehow. Ah, fuck the guy I went after just despawned. Like, that's sometimes a little bit unfortunate. But I have plenty of guys uh, left on the map that I can that I need to that I can kill. As long as my car doesn't blow up. Let's see, there's a guy right over here. So yeah, the mission is basically done uh, now. Now the, now the remaining of the mission is basically left on a timer until all the Yardis have despawned or I've killed most of them. You can speed it up a little bit by just killing them, but yeah, the game eventually just stops spawning them. I think they, sp they spawn like, what, 12 of them at max? But yeah, just one more guy left, there's only a matter of time until he despawns and the mission is GG. Or if I kill him. Who knows, I might be able to kill that guy. No, there's more of them. Alright, I think that's I think this is the last uh, guy. Oh, more of them. Jeez, how many of them are there then? It's a lot of guys. Kill ten on. Okay, at least 10 already. And there's a guy right over there. More? Jesus Christ. Does the game keep spawning? No, this should not be. This should not spawn infinitely. There you go, that's uh, that's what I'm talking about, so yeah, that concludes uh, Kenji missions, and um, yeah, I will say uh, to everyone, thanks for watching, and I see you in the next episode of GTA 3, until then, uh, take care and uh, bye bye.